Hey, it's just so Trish, and it is the eighth week of homeschooling. A very, very long eight week. Week eight. Eight week, week eight. It's daylight savings time, so we have like this imaginary idea that we had an extra hour of productivity, but we know the truth about that. We didn't. So here we go. It is already one of those mornings. So <coughs> I had to delete half the videos on my phone and I had to double check that they were uploaded to YouTube before I deleted them. It's been rough. It's rough. I do have the mohawk going this morning already, even though I'm not out of my pajamas. I'm finding if I moose it at night, so I take my shower, I moose it. I wake up with this yeah all right so um week eight so I didn't do a video last week and then I was gonna get it done by Wednesday and then it came by Friday and I was like you know what we'll just have a long week eight and um, give my kids some grace so I say that because it actually now matters to my kids what week we're doing and that is because um, I don't know if I haven't said it before I just I probably need to do a whole video shout out on it if you are using ACE Andrea Mills is your girl and I say that mm, because I feel like she provides so much training and so much like how to use my little booklets on the teacher manuals on loan right now and so I, but even when I read that, it's kind of like, okay, but what does that look like in practice? And I feel like I can watch Andrea Mills and I can see this is how I can use the ACE curriculum in practice. Ta-da! So, I, um, I really enjoy that. And one of the ones that I enjoy that I've watched several times and haven't um, put into practice is her privilege system. I'm going to put the video down here to link to that video. And so it took me a long time to wrap my head like what would be the privilege system. And essentially it's based on um, getting your work done, behaving, doing a book report. So doing your book report, memorizing your um, Bible verse, and doing a service project is based on those five things. And what I really like about it is, and I feel like where it's really curving me is there's not a you're on or off it. There's levels. There's four levels that you can be. And so it's A-C-E spelt backwards. So E is your best level. C is the middle of the road kind of where it's still good. It's kind of like A, B, C, and then an X. X is you have no privilege. But isn't that kind of the way that we want to do I don't know, like grading. Listen, A is okay. Well, A C E E C A, whatever. Did I say that wrong? I think I said that wrong. There's not enough coffee in me yet. This bogus extra hour. So, E's, you know, I don't know what I just said. So, E's the top. I'm going to do. Here, let me just show you. Bam. Okay, so this is my kind of privileged demerit wall. I have it between two. I pulled this. I literally used my, um, got a notepad when I watched Andrea Mills to make this. So E is the highest privilege. C is the next. A and X. I have, this is what it takes to earn your privilege and this is what it gives you um, I did add in TV there so just like Andrea Mills did she has to see the chart so this is the chart by the week this is just for this year um, so for week 8 it's determined by week 7's chart 
So if you're on privilege A, you have to have at least five, C at least six, and E is at least nine. In order to be on privilege E, you have to have every one of these, not one of these, but every one of these, otherwise you're in C. Every one of these, otherwise you're in A. Since we just started this last week, um, week one, we didn't count the book report or the service project or the scripture. Now that we're in our second week using the privilege, we counted the service project, the demerits, and the stars. Beginning of December, we will do all five. Um, how I'm keeping track of their stars is we actually, I made this beforehand. My printer is old and so the colors not coming through, so this is supposed to be red, green, blue, and purple. And then they put a star every time just to see the chart going. I didn't know how many we'd do, so I just went to a hundred. And all I did was print this on a bunch of paper and then cut and shipping tape it together. Okay, just like in Andrea, she had this chart that she showed, so I just made one just like it to copy it. Um, I'm writing down what week we're on. So, as I told you, we got two number eights. I write down um, their privilege they walked into. I initial when they do a service project, and then I keep track of demerits. Um, demerits is a new thing for us. Um, these are I made a list of ways to get demerits. Um, there's probably more than this, but this was just right on hand, so it was in writing. I'm going to add to this, but because it's a new concept, I really wanted to have like what it takes to be to have a demerit. Um, if you got any suggestions, I would really like that. Um, and I'm using this so I don't get, I don't wait until I'm frustrated and react, but actually be take the initiative in it. So that's our privilege system. And it's working really well. It's self-monitoring. It works out nice because um, I'm not being questioned. Where before where I'd say, you're not allowed to do this. Well, mom, can I do this now? Mom, can I? And I'll forget like what I had decided. And now it's already set. You are either E, C, and A in the story. Um, I did change up my weeks because of just the chaos we are living in. But um, because we're living in all just chaos right now, I'm hoping by the first of the year it'll be better. So I need to give grace there. Um, my star chart is not what it will be next year. I say that like I'm gonna stick with curriculum. I really think I am. Um, but I won't lie, I was, what was I watching? I was watching um, Jay Morrell and I was watching her um, homeschool curriculum video. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I watch her because I like watching the fact that I don't, not the only one who buys that many, much groceries. And I like, I was watching her and I was watching what she was using for curriculum. And you know, every time I'm like, I should look into that. I did. I'm always on the fence about teaching textbooks. But then I don't do it. I don't do it because it's just something else I have to set up where I really like the curriculum books. You open and you go. But there's something about the one-time purchase I could use it for all my kids teaching textbooks. But then I also know it's something else I have to keep a track of and my children ruin DVDs and CDs. And I know that's my own fault, but I don't have a system set up so until then. But every time I'll get looking and I'm like, oh, time for learning. Let's, you know, computers, this will be fun. It doesn't matter. I will look. I'm just that mom that looks for curriculum. Well, I went ahead and I was looking at curriculum. And then I'm just like, what would I take away? This is where I fall into why I know I love ACE. What would I take away? And as a mom, as a mom who got through college with barely reading, with a mom, you know, who sees the fundamental, see, I see the importance of so much of what's there. I'm like, this is good stuff. This is easy, easy to implement, easy to check. 
why do I want to even change it? It doesn't matter. I'll look at something else and I'll, and I'll go through this again. And I'm like, why would I want to change it? Because I'm a curriculum jumper. But anyways, doing the, um, doing the privilege system has already been so good. Um, this week, I will tell you the service projects my kids did was, um, because I'm only doing it for the top three, the 12 year old, the 10 year old and the eight year old, the 12 year old babysat. Whoa, ha, ha. Um, it was the first time she babysat and she is not a big fan of being alone, but she willingly babysat for an hour while we ran up the road and that was big stuff for her because she just, she's not like, I want to be alone. Give me the baby. Y'all go away. She's not that kid. She's very much like, no, you're not leaving me. I'm going with you kind of kid. So, um, that was a service project for me because I want if like, as my kids get older, I want them to babysit with a willing heart because in my life, I've been, when I was a kid, I was babysat by people that didn't have a willing heart and it wasn't good. We'll say that. Yeah. So I'm very particular about that. And I mean, it's left whatever. So I just don't babysit unless you got a willing heart. If you don't have a willing heart, don't watch my kids. And so that goes for anybody who watches my kids and that goes for my kids watching each other. So that was our service project. Baba's service project is the really cool part is we live really close to our church and on Monday we had the fall festival and so my son was at quarter to seven. He's so funny. I need to get some video of him. He had, um, so on our construction trailer we have this like the mobile home stairs. They're not our stairs. <laughs> We live a great life. They're not our stairs. They're actually the church's stairs. And a couple years ago, when we got this trailer, somehow we worked it out that we took the church's stairs. Now, here's the thing. The church only uses them two times a year. Two days out of the year. And not even full days. So, they use them for the sunrise service. And they use them for the fall festival because they have this big flatbed trailer. They pull up, they turn it into a stage in the park, and um, they use the stairs for the performers to get on and off. So, <laughs> so we take our borrowed mobile home stairs, put them on a trailer, and take them to them, or they come and get them, and they use them. And then, and it works out good for the church because they know where they're at. We take care of them, and then they're back and forth. <laughs> So, with that said, we needed to get the stairs there Monday morning. So, my son, my husband had the stairs loaded up on the trailer, and there's a trailer hooked to the lawnmower. And my son, at quarter to seven on the lawnmower, with the trailer, drives it down to, um, to the park. And then he stayed till about, like, noon, just full-out construction, because they're stringing lights up, and getting generators set up and moving stuff so he worked his tail off and that was his service project um Lottie who was eight her service project was we got our van back I should do a video on that maybe today um we have been without our 15 passenger since July 1st we can't ride together I mean the minivan fits me and the kids that's it not all of us and, um, just like, oh. anyways, when it went to the shop, well, when it got parked and went to the shop, we didn't clean out. We just like stepped out and then like forgot all about it because it's been crazy since like May, April, May. And, um, it was a mess. It was a bad mess. So, um, her service project, she cleaned the van for me. Well, she helped clean the van. She didn't clean the whole van, but she helped clean the van. So I counted that as a service project. And Addie, too. And I'll just sign my name on Addie's. So that's what we use as service projects. I'm going to tell you, finding service projects are kind of going to be hard. 
No, they shouldn't be. I just have to sit and make a list on ideas of like appropriate service projects. So that was our service project. But it's worked out really good. But because of just the chaos and stuff, it's like they're fighting to stay on C privilege. So extending grace, I'm like, let's call this week week eight. Again, we'll just have two week eights. And they got a lot of work done, but mostly so that they can stay at a level of privilege. And um, and it has been motivating. So it works out really good with the whole like goal of three pages a day and how are you going to get your kids to do enough and all of those questions. Well, when I'm only asking three pages as a goal, that's all they're doing. That's it. There's no motivation. It's just, that's all I need to do. I'm done. I agree. And for us getting into ACE, for us in our chaos, you know, that was okay. That was fine. But now that we're getting into it and, you know, time's moving on, we can't stay at that pace. Adding the privilege system has been a lot of motivation for my kids. Um, I told Katie last week, I said, listen, it was Friday and she ended around one o'clock and I said, you know, if you get three paces done, you will be on privilege E as long as you know everything else is done. Um, she was like, oh, she sat down and she whipped out two tests, three tests I think she did because she was already like almost there. She was like, okay, here, we're done. Um, the one hard part they have is they're like, okay, I finished this book. Now am I on privilege? And I'm like, we don't reset privileges until Sunday night. I actually haven't set privileges yet. It's been nice. It's been monitoring the TV. We're monitoring the TV. We're monitoring electronics, um, bedtimes. And it's nice because they'll be like, Mom, can I go do that? I go, what does your privilege say? Go check the privilege chart. And they do, and they're like, oh, I can't. I'm like, yeah. So that has worked out really good. Um, we're just doing Proverbs. Again, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I just am completely stealing, stealing Andrea Mills's concepts. I feel like she's brilliant. I think she, listen, my friends over at ACE Ministries, you ought to consider using her as your homeschool liaison. She has amazing ideas. Actually, you should just use us both because she's very, she's good. She's really good. She's really good. Um, so, using that is helping. And then, um, just trying to keep up. It's kind of chaotic here. We'll talk to you later. Peace out!